10 Symptoms of Increased Anxiety Experts say that 30% of all people suffer from increased anxiety, which poisons the mind and life itself. Of course, not every anxiety is pathological, but it's worth checking how predisposed you are to this. You are equally worried about important events and little trifles, like an accidentally overturned espresso cup in a cafe. The Swedish proverb that states, anxiety creates great shadows for small things, is right. You are haunted by obsessive thoughts about irons not turned off or bacteria swarming around. Guy de Maupassant was right in his assessment that such thoughts are possessed as vicious of a tenacity as incurable diseases. You often have unreasonably tense muscles or clenched jaws. The Austrian philosopher Ludwig Wittgenstein rightfully noted that the human body is the best picture of the soul. You are worried about physical ailments. That's right, even medieval physician Parcellus believed that the best cure for diseases is a good spirits. Endless flashbacks, memories of traumatic events, ruin your life. Because, as they say, the past is too hard to carry everywhere with you. You get tired quickly. Surprisingly, the saying fits that explains, emotional experiences exhaust a person more than any work. You are ready to endlessly redo work bringing it to perfection. It is a pity that the warning of writer Leo Tolstoy, if you look for perfection, you will never be satisfied, passed you by. You are painfully shy. It's easier for you to avoid social contact than it is to overcome the fear of being ridiculed. As one sage so eloquently put it, before you worry about someone's opinion, ask yourself, do you live just to meet the expectations of others? Questions starting with, what if, exhaust you. Keep this in mind. Anxiety does not solve tomorrow's problems, but steals today's peace. Getting rid of options. Do you suspect you have an anxiety disorder? It may be worth seeing a doctor and getting help, but if the situation has not gone too far, you can cope with anxiety on your own. Exercise to control muscle tension. Eastern wisdom advises this. Let your body be in motion, your mind at rest, your soul transparent. Do not try to be perfect. For, as the wise ones say, the perfectionist brings everything to mind and others to hysterics. Do not forget about relaxation, yoga, meditation, nature. The sages say, find peace in your soul, the rest will find you. When you catch yourself thinking, what if? Finish up the statement with a funny scenario. Not, the boss will fire me, but the boss will give me the business. Comedian Pierre Richard surely had a perfect suggestion in this. A sense of humor is often our only weapon against all the nasty things of life. Have good morning rituals. For example, drink a glass of water in bed or sip coffee by the window. An English poet once wrote the following, First we form habits, then they form us. Replace thoughts of missteps with memories of happy moments. Use your memory more boldly, the only paradise that is always with you. Imagine anxiety in the form of dirt on your hands and wash them with soap and water. As Einstein said, 
Imagination is more important than knowledge, for it is infinite. Make it work for you. Use an anti-stress coloring book. For as one wise man said, when we are engaged in creativity, the heart shimmers with the colors of joy and happiness. Put anxiety down to paper, describing your thoughts, and then burn it. The wises among us have advised us. Thus, don't let negativity rent a room in your head.